Alright guys, this is going to be a serious video of sorts, although maybe not, I don't know. There I go again. Either way, I just got this in the mail the other day. It's from the state, the Tennessee Department of Revenue, Vehicle Services Division, because it contains the Motor Vehicle Registration Renewal Notice. So yeah, the tags on the truck are due at the end of the month. And it's going to be another 50 some odd dollars and change. I'm going to show you how much it costs per county and why the state's going to be forcing us to pay even more. So, yeah. And for those who notice, I did black out the address because I don't want people sending stuff. Or if you want to send me stuff, that's fine too. I mean, hell, I like stuff. So, yeah, just PM me for the address and uh, send stuff. I like stuff. And here it is. Tag number, class code, base year, color green, VIN number, title number, Ford F-150-93. Well, yeah, pickup F-1593. Yeah, that's what I owe for the year. $54.50. When validated, registration expires 6 So, yeah. And if you want to send this by mail, just send in an additional $2. So, yeah. Everything's going up except my paycheck. But I kind of need the wheels to get to work so I can make whatever money I can to pay the state. We. And of course, here's the list of select specialty plates and stuff. So, yeah. This camera will focus, but. Yeah, it's like taking a renewal notice and paying an additional $35 in addition to the registration fees. And if you want college to support your sports team, it's $70. So yeah, the state just wants money, 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 and what do you get in return? Well, you get a nice license plate, especially a personalized one if you're so vain. So yeah. Helping schools, $39, yeah. When the schools help me, nothing. They didn't. So, landing on, it's going nowhere. But this is what I'm talking about. It says here, in 2017, an online insurance verification system will verify liability auto insurance coverage for all Tennessee drivers. Don't get stuck paying fines and possible vehicle registration suspension. Okay. You know what? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. And we'll go to the... I already have it highlighted, so... It even says, I mean... Drive insured. It's the law. As I covered, uncovered. Failure to, failure to insure can result in fines, suspended vehicle registration, and a registration and reinstatement fee. Because it says state law requires blah, blah, blah. And it was part of the James Lee Atwood Jr. law, which <laughs> obviously some state center saying, well, people need our insurance because it's just cheaper to go that way. Not exactly. Because, I mean, yes, I got insurance on the truck, but that's not the point. The point is there are people who don't have much of a job. They barely make enough to get by. And they need the car to go to work. <sighs> so, yeah. But about the fines, I mean, yes. They're going to see us like, Hey, your vehicle's not registered. we got to fine you. Yeah, it's not registered because it's not running because it's broken. Well, uh, you still got to have it registered. It's sitting on fucking blocks. Well, you still got to do whatever you say because we're the state. We can do whatever we want. It's like, whatever. Shut up. So that's money out of my pocket for that. And then it's like, if you suspend, get suspended, the suspended vehicle registration, it's like, <laughs> yeah. So if you're put putting around the neighborhood, trying to see if the car is running right, and then they're going to see like, well, this... Kind of slight interruption. I kind of lost all passion about it. But to continue about the suspended vehicle registration, I mean, if the car you're working on, you're put putting around town, and they realize about it, they could probably find you for that and take the car. So that's more money out of your pocket. 
Because you have to, because we're like I said, we're in a state where we can do whatever the fuck we want, because we're at for people. And then, when you finally get things in order, you gotta pay an additional fee to get it reinstated and all that happy shit. So, yeah. How the hell is this cheaper? Because years ago, well, actually, I think it was last year or whatever, before this law was enacted, that if you drove without insurance, it was like, what, a $100 fine and a slap on a wrist and maybe two points off your license. Now, it's like, it's all about money, money, money. We want it. We know you have it, so we want it. <sighs> whatever. So, yeah. So, that's that. More money to the state that I don't really have, but I kind of have to because it's the nah. I don't know how it is in where you're living, watching, but I'm sure it's pretty much the same or different. If it is, let me know. If it's different, feel free to chime in. So, I guess until next time, whatever it is, I'm going to thanks for watching, and the comment box is open.